So there have been guidelines created over the years. Um, and because it's a syndrome, it's tricky. But the guidelines that we use for this study and pretty much all the studies before that were what, what was called the EFNS PNS gu guidelines, uh, which were um, developed in 2010. EFNS is the European Federation of Neurologic Societies, and the PNS is the Peripheral Nerve Society. So that was um, a group of about 20 people, looked at all the literature up to date, and came up with guidelines, which has to do with clinical, electrophysiologic, and supportive evidence. So the most common form of CIDP is called typical CIDP, and that is where patients have proximal and distal symmetric weakness. So their shoulders and hips, which are the proximal areas, are weak, and the ankles and the hands are weak. They lose all their reflexes. There's no uh, genetic cause. And um, when you see that pattern of proximal and distal symmetric weakness, there's almost no other disease that does that if the progression's for over eight weeks. There are atypical forms of what we call variants, which have to do to distal variants, sensory variants, motor variants, multifocal variants, but the typical form is the most common, it accounts for over half the cases. The supportive evidence is that the spinal fluid protein is elevated without having many cells, which is very similar to what you see in Guillain-Barre syndrome. And then the other supportive evidence now is imaging studies showing inflammation of the nerve roots and um, whether the patient actually responds to treatment. So there are now new guidelines from 2021 that I was part of. Um, this is now called the EAN PNS guidelines, your European Association of Neurology or something of that sort, and the Peripheral Nerve Society, which was an update from the 2010 guidelines. It goes into more detail of the variants and the whole point to some extent is to tighten up the diagnosis and not get half the patients being misdiagnosed, but hopefully less than you know 20%. So the new guidelines have many more references, a whole bunch of ways to look at it. Um, so true guide to, to clinicians if they would use it. Mm -hmm. Trying to get diagnosis of syndromes can be very, very difficult. And this is a relatively rare disease probably no more than eight patients per 100,000 <laughs> um, population. So it's not easy to do this. And we recommend frequently for patients to go to centers of excellence. Um, some um, The GBS-CIDP Foundation International, a patient advocacy group, has designated about 40 centers around the world as centers of excellence. Um, and it certainly makes sense if you, if the diagnosis isn't clear or you don't respond to your first treatment to go ahead and get a second opinion in one of these centers or a center that you know is highly respected for um, its understanding of this disease and other neuropathies.